I'm Chung Wen with Notebooks.com, and here we're at the Game Developers Conference with AR Drone. Can you tell us a little bit about the device and some of the social gaming features that the AR Drone can provide? Yeah. So the AR Drone is a quadricopter, so it's a helicopter with four propellers, and you control it from the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Okay. And uh, you have two cameras on it, one on the front and one on the bottom. So you can play with video games in augmented reality. So that's really a cool feature and uh, well, you really enjoy it. So what kind of games are available right now to play? At, yeah, at the moment we have developed uh, one application to control the air drone and one game. So it's a multiplayer game where um, uh, you have one drone, I have one, and we can fight against each other. In the, in the iPhone screen, you see the missiles in augmented reality. So when I hit your AR drone virtually, it reacts physically. So that's amazing. And um, well, this uh, game is called Air Pursuit. It's the game like the cat and the mouse. Okay, so I chase you with my missiles. Once I hit you, you become the cat and you chase me. So it's like an augmented reality flight simulator kind of game where we're flying and we're trying to shoot down each other right, with two different drones. Yeah, so you, you have the drones flying uh, in, in the room and then in, on the iPhone screen you see uh, what you can send as a weapon, like uh, the missiles and uh, other stuff. How many uh, drones can you pair together for the for this type of game? Uh, for, for this game, only two. Only two. And uh, they are connected uh, via Bluetooth. So. Um, you connect your iPhone to the Air Drone, and the two iPhones are connected via Bluetooth. Okay. And the the iPhone to the drone would be via Wi-Fi. Via Wi-Fi. Exactly. What's the range of um, the gameplay? Yeah. So the range is about 50 meters. It's about uh, 150 feet. So basically, the Wi-Fi range. Exactly. Right? It's Wi-Fi range. So it's uh, up and uh, on the side. Now the the model here that we just saw flying around that doesn't have the the four cylinder cylindrical bumpers. Yes, this is actually the the same product, but the only the hull changed. This is the version to fly outdoor and with the wings here. This is the version to fly indoor. So, so this is the first one that we saw launched. Um, yeah, actually the the two hulls are delivered in the in the packaging, so you you, you can just. By sliding it like that, you just change from this hull to the other hull. And um, so this one is the first protection system. So it protects the air drone itself. It protects you, uh, the furniture, the cat and the dog, and uh, everything. So it's very flexible, you see, and resistant. So that's just the, the right material to use. No, I was talking to one of your colleagues and he said that if someone, if the drone were to run into, say, an obstacle, like if someone were to accidentally mm. touch it, there's a safety feature that's... Yeah, um, exactly. If something prevents one of the four propellers to spin, the four motors will just stop and uh, the air drone will drop on the ground. So how durable is the drone? I mean, if it drops, will it break? Or? Well, it's very durable. You see, it's, uh, here you have a central cross in carbon fiber. So that's really tough, very resistant. You see the hull, it's uh, flexible, resistant, and, and very light. And uh, you see it's, um, the, 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 the product is really light. It's only 420 grams. Um, so, and even what a cool feature for this product as well is when you eventually uh, break one of the parts of the drone, you can buy it and fix it by yourself, meaning that if you go full speed into a wall and then maybe you break you break the, the propeller, you just buy a new one and fix it by yourself. So you can change it uh, yourself. So it's really um, a, a cool feature for that because uh, you can buy the, the gears, the motors, you can buy the, the hulls, uh, the propeller, the central cross, every part is replaceable. Are you opening up the AR drone development to third-party developers to create other sorts of augmented reality or other types of games? Yes, we have an open development platform, uh, so you can go on parrot.com and check uh, on, the, on, on the website. Uh, so you can get from this platform the communication code of the AR drone, and then from then uh, develop applications for the iPhone or port this code to other platforms. 
So right now, natively, it's only available on the iPhone, like the, yeah, the game that you have yes. out. Yes. But developers can open it up to Android or other operating yes. systems. Yes. Well, we, we have seen uh, more and more videos on YouTube. We have about 5,200 uh, videos from developers, uh, from, from users at least. And uh, more and more videos about Kinect, for example, controlling the air drone or with the Wii, the remote of the Wii controlling the air drone. So that's really a, um, a good uh, job made by the developers who make it compatible with, uh, with a lot of uh, new uh, devices. All right, so this is the battery. This is a, a LiPo battery. The lifetime is about 12 minutes. Charging time about 90 minutes. And about the stabilization of the AR drone, what we can have, uh, what we have is a lot of sensors inside. So, for example, you have the uh, ultrasound sensors here to calculate the altitude of the AR drone, so it's to stabilize it vertically. And to stabilize it horizontally, you have the vertical camera here. So it takes pictures and it works like image comparison. And um, it's um, for the. It makes it. Uh, it makes the air drone not drifting. So when you press the takeoff button, it just takes off and stabilizes itself, waiting for your commands. And then on the navigation board, we have two gyros to measure the angles. So these angles, these angles, and these angles, and one accelerometer to measure the angular velocity. Um, and then that's it. That's the IMU, the inertial measurement unit. And then you have the two cameras, right? One on the front and then the bottom so, one. One on the front, one camera on the front here, and one camera on the bottom. And with all these sensors, including, I guess, a wireless radio, uh, the Wi-Fi uh, radio. Yes, we have uh, we have our own processor inside, so it's a powered CPU. We have the Wi-Fi uh, chip as well, and we have. Uh, um, well, an electronic cards control the, the motors. So every motor is controlled by an electronic card, which are controlled by a power CPU. Wow. So it's a, a lot of software behind, behind And with that demo we just saw, there's a lot of, I mean, the movements are so precise, so yeah. that's all very intelligent with all the sensors.